Okay. Yes, it's been a while. We're not gonna talk about that. Even though I kind of promised you guys I wouldn't do this to you guys anymore and I'm sorry. So welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know, I am Liz here and I also go by Ray. It is time for a wrap up for March and we're going to ignore that <laughs> this is really late. I know that today is April 10th and I'm filming. <laughs> I'll wrap up for March but um it is what it is at least we do have a wrap up at least I got a couple of books in order to do a wrap up I do um want to admit though that this month April feels a lot stronger as far as reading um I did read a book last night and it was really good and I just started another one recently but I think I'm gonna read that along with another book I don't mind reading multiple books at one time I just it's always never been a problem for me. Yeah, so this won't be a long video because there's not that many books. I did read four. <laughs> I'm going to go in order from like, like the shortest book to the longest one because some of these were super short. I know one of them was a poetry book and then I'll get to the plot and the details of the two like fiction books that I read. First we have Almost Adulting. This is a book that I bought on Amazon. Um, I saw it on Facebook recommended. And I just figured why not. It's by Arden Rose who's in, I believe they're in, um, they're a YouTuber as well. This is just basically for young adults, fresh adults to get their life together and make that transition from their teenage years to adulthood. Whether you're um, figuring out or getting ready to start figuring it out. I know like I'm 21 right now and there are a few things in here that I'm just like yeah definitely but it also talks a lot about how important friendships are like you know being empathetic being easy on yourself not caring what other people think you know there's a lot of books that go there's a lot of books that talk about how it's important to not care about what others think but I like the examples shown in this one healthy relationships making internet friends because you know social media is the number one way to make friends right now apparently <laughs> you know going on adventures and just living your best adult life there's a chapter where she talks about for a moment when she was doing a new job she was getting up early and she loved it she was like getting into this routine like getting up working out eating a breakfast in the morning but and then you know when you get up early you go to bed early but however her boyfriend her boyfriend that she was long distance with doesn't like follow the same sleep schedule so it felt like they were seeing each other less and less so she talks a lot about compromise she got up a little later just so she can spend more time with her boyfriend and then stay up a little later therefore they can do the things that they used to do honestly that went a little different than how i expected to i thought that you know he was gonna be like okay i'm gonna start getting up early but that was never how he did things that was never how they did things and it was only and the only reason she did that was because of a job that she was doing and you know she just built that habit so next we have pillow thoughts for stitching the soul and this is the final book of the pillow that series by courtney pepino i mentioned this in another video but part one um it doesn't like have like a specific like target area part two is called healing the heart part three is called mending the mind and then part four is called stitching the soul so i didn't exactly annotate that's why i want to reread this and go through it and then find my favorite poem to stick out and then highlight them because i just read this mostly in one sitting um even though i can say that part three was probably my favorite um i did like this one too overall i want to give this like um like a three out of five and almost adulting i almost forgot i want to give like a 3.5 out of five just because there's so much humor in here and stuff like that it's a very quick read too i think it's like a little over 200 pages so light-hearted like self-help kind of thing so going into the fiction books that i read i already talked a little bit about electric idol which is an Aries and psyche retelling i really hope i'm saying that right guys um i think it's psyche or psych i'm not too sure yeah we had this conversation before already <laughs> this is the sequel to neon gods by the way by katie robert so neon gods was a um hades and persephone retelling it. it's also an introduction to this dark and modern world of olympus and i was super like i don't know because the best like hades and persephone retellings i do believe would have to like take a more fantasy setting but modern settings do work as well only in this case <laughs> so part one was around hades and persephone and this follows like the aftermath of persephone's actions persephone and hades actions in book um one so this follows psyche she leaves a party about halfway through can't remember like 
yeah but she leaves the party because she does not like social settings like that and then she meets Eris who's kind of like an assassin for Aphrodite <laughs> so he's bleeding a bit and she patches him up and then a photo snaps and they are cut and one thing if you are a part of the 13 then you're very popular in this modern city so if you are caught doing anything it's going to get broadcasted it's going to go viral and you could potentially be in trouble depending on what it is so this picture of eris and psyche goes viral because he's just like putting on his he's just putting on his shirt and she's like i don't know, like fixing his shirt or something like that but it looks wrong like they just walked out of the bathroom and it looks wrong so it goes viral and Aphrodite she doesn't like Psyche mainly because she doesn't like Demeter which is Psyche's mom and so that gets that spirals and she tells Eris I need you to go and kill this girl so Eris is like wait a minute this, this <laughs> it it, it unfolded so fast I guys I was like wait we can't even get a hello how's your day maybe um a little bit more backstory just go kill her bring me her heart that was crazy but she's always been jealous of Psyche because she's a little bit more popular on Instagram she's well loved and Demeter she's always been known to get things done in her family and in 13 so Aphrodite just wants a one up and to just shut Demeter up for good whatever so she sends Ares kill him to kill her however Ares takes one look to Psyche and says I can't do it and the only way out of that predicament was for Aries and Psyche to get married. So arranged marriage, not arranged marriage, but um, marriage of convenience. And I like marriage of convenience. This was also pretty decent as well. I liked it better than the first book. So now they need to navigate this marriage, um, fake date, make everybody seem like they're happy and in love together while also kind of fighting attraction <laughs> well Eris knew from the jump like i gotta have her and you know psyche was like mm, not too much not too much i'm not gonna lie the drama in this book was so much better than the drama in the first book it definitely was a lot more entertaining and you also got a little bit more information about the 13 a little bit more of their background and I think I don't know if there was a map in Neon Gods but in this one there is a map so it makes a little bit more sense like how to map out this city in your mind. Um, Hades and Persephone's story is nice but I just felt like the plot was written around the smut and this one was a little bit different. There was still a ton of smut in here like guys there's so much pink in this book it's crazy. There felt like a bit more plot a bit more depth from the characters too. The way this left off I'm really curious about another sister because like what are you doing? Come on now. Because there's four sisters in Demeter's um, household. Demeter has four daughters. Um, Persephone, Psyche, Callisto, and Eurydice. So overall I gave this a four out of five <laughs> because the vibes like guys that is probably the highest ranked book I had in March. Last but not least we have See You Yesterday. Yeah, guys, I was a little let down by this, unfortunately. This is by the same author who wrote Today, Tonight, Tomorrow, and I loved that book, guys. So I went into this book thinking I was going to get something similar, and while it was cute, while it did have a good happy ending, while I did laugh a little bit and had a good time, I just wasn't, like, pulled and sucked in the way I was with Today, Tonight, Tomorrow. So this follows Barrett Bloom. She is 18, really traumatized. God, her backstory is so tragic. I... I almost did cry because kids are the worst. <laughs> High school is terrible. She goes to this college and she's really excited because she wants to start over. She doesn't want to be the person she was in high school. She um, writes a lot. She wants to be a journalist, so she majors in journalism. It's September 21st. That's what it starts. September 21st, and it's her very first day. She is ready to make this great first impression, but she completely messes up. It's bad. Um, she got mocked in her physics class by a know-it-all um is partnered with um her ex-best friend who still very much hates her from high school and her that's her roommate her ex-best friend is her roommate i'm all over the place oh my goodness she bombs her interview for the school's paper it it it, it was hard to read it was very hard to read my girl just stop just stop and then she goes to a party to try to like unwind a little bit and she even though she wasn't invited and she ends up burning a frat she she ends up burning a frat house it's on fire and then she gets locked out of her dorm room so she falls asleep in the common room and then when she wakes up the next day it again it starts the day started over wednesday september 21st so that's when she finds out that she is stuck in time and then when she goes back to her physics class and she meets the guy who kind of um was rude to her he notices that she's stuck and she knows notices that he's stuck but she, he has been stuck there for months. 
while she had just gotten stuck he'd been stuck there for months and i i couldn't imagine it honestly so at first barrett tries to get herself unstuck from this time loop on her own way by you know doing good deeds try to do things around campus but it doesn't work and miles tries to take like a more um academic approach us um you know trying to be smart about things researching but doesn't work so they start to work together after a lot of bickering a lot of arguing it gets to a point where they decide to just start living life to the fullest they're like we're stuck in time so why don't we just do whatever we want and they do and they learn a lot more about each other they slowly follow up this is such a slow slow burn and i was getting bored at times but there are so many sweet heartfelt moments um like miles with his family uh yeah miles that's the same and then barrett just kind of like slowly working through her trauma i think she goes through all stages of grief <laughs> um but there are some moments where i'm just like okay you definitely did not have to do that like but you know when you're an 18 year old and you're very sad and you hate everybody i guess that makes sense so i feel like this book probably could have been like a hundred page pages shorter like i understand there's a whole bunch of details but yeah and i was a little lost because i don't really know much about physics or quantum physics there's also some cute lessons um in here like about intimacy and trust and things like that the ending was cute i gave this a three out of five i'll write like a more detailed review later um because i finished this literally like, right at the end of march <laughs> i still haven't had time to write um a full review because it just i'm still trying to figure out like what about the book didn't make it a four like i'm trying to go through it i did annotate it so i'm going through like each part slowly and just seeing like what went wrong from there so if you like this video be sure to hit that like and subscribe button as always my other socials will be in that description box below have a great day morning night evening wherever you are and i love you